Hey friends, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Parma, Michigan. I'm gonna tell you today about the Miss Calculations of Lightning Girl, an amazing 2018 novel. Are you ready? Let's go. If you're interested in videos about children's literature and getting kids excited about reading, click that subscribe button down below. If you click the bell notification, you'll get an email every time I upload a new video. The Miss Calculations of Lightning Girl. Lucy is a middle middle school age student and a few years ago she was struck by lightning and this lightning strike left her with genius math ability like she is a math savant she can do any, she's like one of the best math people she's like absolutely brilliant like going to be one of the best mathematicians ever to live probably she's absolutely brilliant but the problem is she is now obsessed with germs she is very antisocial she pretty much just wants to hang out in her apartment with her grandmother and get on math websites and answer people's really hard math questions. She's 12, almost 13, and she probably could go to college. She's ready to go to college. She wants to go to college online because she wants to hang out at home and not go anywhere. And instead of going to college, her grandmother informs her that she's going to middle school. As you can imagine, Lucy is extremely upset. She is very frustrated. She is worried her OCD is going to cause problems. She doesn't really want to go to middle school. She just wants to hang out and do math things. But grandma thinks that she needs to, before she goes to college, she needs to develop some of those social skills and get used to being around people. Seems like a good idea, grandma. As you can imagine, Lucy is pretty miserable at first in school. She is stressed out. She doesn't want to do it. There's some of the the things that she does with her OCD that kind of make her stick out and stand out and she just feels really uncomfortable in school. It's terrible. Uh, she does love her math teacher, um, but she is trying not to let anyone know that she's brilliant in math. So she always tries to get like a 92% on her math test. She will like intentionally get problems wrong. Um, the very first uh, math test they take, one of the other students in class copies off of her um, and they both get in trouble and then she's like super mad at this kid and he it, and it's just it's a problem she's very frustrated she holds a grudge and she just can't get over it uh like in so many books that take place in school and i love these kinds of stories uh the book and the main story is centered around a class project and in this class project lucy and two other students have to work together to basically do something really awesome and they can pick what they want to do what project they're going to do and lucy she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to be partners with anyone. And it starts off really rough. She is partnered with a girl that is probably her closest friend and also the boy who uh, cheated off of her paper earlier in the year. And it's the, her, the, the girl, the friend that's a girl, wants to do something big and huge and crazy and amazing. Lucy probably just wants to do something with math. The boy, uh, he just doesn't want to do anything. And eventually they are able to find a project that they can serve, that they all can use their strengths. And it's just amazing watching them come together. And there's lots of, uh, not lots, but there's some drama that kind of pulls them apart. And like watching them try to come back together and watching this friendship grow, watching Lucy grow. Lucy, the growth that Lucy made in this book is, is beautiful. It is mesmerizing. Kids are going to absolutely love the miscalculations of Lightning Girl. I gave it five stars. I devoured it. I couldn't stop reading it. I took it with me yesterday to my root canal. I was so glad that the dentist was running behind. Not because I wasn't wanted, didn't want to get my teeth drilled, but because I wanted to finish this book, and I did. And it's wonderful. You should buy this book. Uh, I think like fourth grade and up, it would be wonderful in a fifth, sixth, and seventh grade classroom. I think kids would absolutely love it. Uh, I'll put some links down below if you'd like to purchase this book from IndieBound or Amazon. It's a great book and it's going to make a wonderful addition to your classroom library. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Let me know what you're reading down in the comments below. I'm always adding to my to read list. It is gonna be a beautiful day here in Michigan. I hope it's a beautiful day where you are. Have an awesome day and happy, happy reading.